In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at an all new camera from Runcam. Now, this is called the Phoenix 2 Nano here, and they've done some slight differences here. So, the timestamps will be down below if you wanted to skip to a specific part of the video, and is also shown in the video progress bar. So, let's go ahead and get started here. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories first. So, we do get the Runcam itself also with the protective cover, as you can tell right here. And we also have an adapter from Nano to Micro if you needed that. Now, they've done something slightly different with the way that the wires are coming out of this Nano here. They're using this really tiny thin connector I don't know how good that's going to be in practice when we're actually flying this and I would have loved to see at least two of these inside the box there the the cables are very thin and stripping on might be a nightmare here and um, it just feels really delicate so you got to be I think you have to be very very careful with this and that'll connect up here we'll come back to that in a bit here and they also do provide us with some extra screws here if you needed to use them for anything. So let's go ahead and put this back in its box here. Now back to the connector here. So let's go ahead and plug this guy right in. So if we take a look at the connector here, we see that it takes five to 36 volts. It doesn't take three volts, so make sure you have a five volt regulator available on your toothpick or whatever you might be setting this up on. Then we have a ground video, which is pretty basic stuff, ground, and the menu for the OSD. And as you can tell, they are broken out just like this so this is the typical type of connector that any fpv camera connects to and this is a typical type of connector that any remote or osd remote for these cameras do connect to but more likely you're going to end up having to cut this off right here now i do wish it was slightly shorter maybe right to there and they also do provide you with the other side that connects to this and basically you choose the size of that and the solder that into place so if you ever wanted to remove it you could just remove it from here instead of having to worry about this big fat connector here most of the time. So that's how I would have possibly executed. I know it would probably increase the cost slightly, but I think it would have been slightly better in my opinion here. And let's go ahead and jump into latency and see how well this thing is actually testing. All right, guys, so in this part of the video, we're going to be testing the latency when the LED turned on. That means the camera was in a black room and all of a sudden the LED turned on. And with that, we can measure the latency. So let's make sense of this. So here on the bottom line here, we're watching the voltage that's going to the LED. And the low part here is simulating zero volts, or it is actually zero volts. And when it turned on, it was right at this point, which became into five volts. Now, what we're also watching up here is the camera line input, the yellow wire on the camera. And we could see when the change happened. We noticed that the change happened right here. So we're able to measure the difference and we got for the best result, 18.6 milliseconds. And now for the worst result, it got 24.8 milliseconds. So we can say the latency on this is anywhere between 18.6 to 24.8 milliseconds. And uh, this usually happens with a lot of cameras out there, that fluctuation. Here, as you can tell, we had one which was 20.2 milliseconds. So we can say the latency on this camera is anywhere between 18.6 all the way up to 24.8 milliseconds. Now let's go ahead and jump into the testing when the LED was originally on and then it went off. Usually we do see an increase in latency in 98% of the cameras out there. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So these are the testing results for the LED turning off. So as you can tell, the LED was already on. This was five volts for the LED. Boom, it went off and that's zero volts. And again, we'll take a look at the camera's input and see when it changed and calculate the difference. So for the best run on this, I got 25.2 milliseconds. And as you can tell, there's already an increase in latency. For the worst run, I got 30.4 milliseconds. And this is normal with 98% of the cameras out there because they're trying to keep the exposure and try to keep the light in as much as possible in order for you to see here. And that's what we really see that's going on here. But I, I would guess it was like right about there when it really noticed because we could see a peak and there shouldn't be a peak, especially when the light being turned off. But we can see that the software is trying to do something. I would say it's roughly 20 milliseconds of latency on that. It's roughly in that range. And then the software is kicking in because that's where we see those little dips go up where it shouldn't actually go up there. And uh, if you see these little lines sticking up here, that's the OSD information on the camera. That's what you're seeing right there. Those are the white pixels because two of these are basically one frame. So you get the odds and then you get the evens and that's how it draws the lines. It's like this and then it comes in and fills out the rest. And that's what we're seeing here. So basically with the LED turning off, you're getting about well, almost a frame of latency. So you're one frame, one full frame, not a half a frame because each of these again is a half a frame. So about one full frame we could say, which is around, yeah, 
one full frame roughly that and well that's it guys everything's linked down below go ahead and check those out those greatly support the channel come join my patreon i do a ton of giveaways every month and uh you could just go down there and see what you the perks you get you don't have to register and uh if it's something you'd like and if you'd like to support the channel you also get a lot of things in return and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out